Hey guys, what's up? My name is RedSpartHD, and today I'm going to be showing you how to root your HTC Evo V uh, from Virgin Mobile or whatever the V's on. It's like the Evo 3D. I'm going to record my phone now so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. And before you say anything, this is already has its S off and it's been rooted and it has a custom ROM. The custom ROM is actually called Monster ROM V3 Lite. Big shout out to him, and if you guys want to see a tutorial on how to install this, uh, please post a comment in the comment section below. Okay, so, I got this HTC Evo, and this is why I haven't really been posting videos, because I want to know how to actually root it, and just put custom kernels, and through fa fastboot and whatnot. Uh, big shout out to J Geo Flid. Uh, this video, this link will be in the description if you want to follow a text tutorial rather than a video tutorial, because that's how I did it, and I don't know, it just depends on preference. Uh, but first thing is first, you do want to come to this link, and you have to download all of these. Install the download and install HTC Sync. Then you want to get Team Win Recovery Project. Uh, when you actually click on the link, you're going to come here, and then you scroll down. You see recovery.emg. When you save it, it's going to save as this, and then right click and delete it, and save it as recoveryimg.img. Uh, you want to go to the stock ROM, and I had a problem finding this because when it loads, you're going to come to here. We're going to get the ODEX version, not the DDox, the ODEX, and you're going to come down to download again, okay, and then come into JMZ stock ROMs and click on the ODEX, it'll start downloading, and it shouldn't take too long, alright, and then the mini SDK, click on that, blah blah blah, uh, just scroll down a little bit, go to the mini SDK here, and then click, where's the download button, okay, there it is. Click this little uh, SDK tools. And then once that's done, that's going to be in a zip folder, and you want to extract that. You know, downloads, it'll be in here somewhere. Uh, double click on it if WinZip, WinRAR, and then extract it just on your OS, the uh, C drive, and then you're going to have SDK tools. And then take that recovery that you got in your downloads folder and move it into here. And I also put my ROMs in here because it just helps out. Okay, so the next step is once everything is done, come over to your phone. Go down, and you see how it says charge only? Make sure it's on disk drive so we can access it. Just give that a few seconds. And if you want the uh, super user patch, you guys can download that. I think it's in this uh, form right here. I'm just going to be putting on the ODEX version. And then go done. Alright, just give us a few seconds for it to pop up. And if you hear my fans in the background, please, please don't worry about them. Okay, so if you want to back up everything, hit Control A and move it to another folder. Uh, like back it up and whatnot. So the next thing that you guys want to do is make a folder called ROMs and just right click new folder ROMs. Um, and then you want to go to wherever you put your ROMs. Like I said, it's easier if you put it in your tools. And then just bring, click, and put the JMZ stock ROM on there. It's about 394 megabytes. It shouldn't be too long. Okay, I guess it will be. 60 seconds. Okay. And as this is transferring, you want to look at your phone, just admire it, and then you want to go uh, go to your system settings, and don't do anything, you just go to your developer options, and just give this a few seconds to uh, finish transferring. But you see that thing that says USB debugging? Once this is done, you want to click on that, and click you know, OK on that. So just give this a few seconds. Alright guys, we're back and it's on there, and I do want to point out that when you're in this process, you cannot have your phone unplug from your computer and whatnot, and also you cannot have the... Let me minimize that. I was not know what I was doing there. You cannot... Uh, this will wipe all your, da your data, so I just want to point that out and whatnot. So before, if you don't want to do this, and don't. Alright, so the next thing that you guys want to do is Windows 7, you just click to start, type in CMD, or if you're on uh, XP, you hold Control R and it'll bring it to, or Star R, and it'll bring you to Run, and you just type CMD and then click Enter. Alright, since we're in CMD, what you guys want to type, because we're about getting ready to enter fast mode, make sure your USB debugging is on, and then change your settings to charge only. What we have to do is type in CD slash, okay, now we're on our CD drive, now we're going to be seeding, seed, seeding to SDK-Tools. Nope, oh, no slash. Okay, next thing we want to do is ADB Reboot Bootloader. 
And now this is uh, where our phone will restart and whatnot. So just uh, keep an eye on your phone. Make sure it does not unplug. And mine's restarting right now. Okay, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get... Uh, we're going to have to unlock our phone. But as you see... Let me bring up my computer so I can see what I'm looking at. As you see right here, this thing right here, the pink where mine is pink, yours will say whoop, lock. And your S will be on. It says S on. You're going to have, I'll do another tutorial to get the S off, but don't worry about that right now. This will say locked. It won't say do not bear or whatnot. You guys are going to have to, uh, we're going to unlock it right now. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to go through the entire process. I'll t just walk you guys through it basically. And sorry if my camera I'm using an Xbox camera okay so we're now we're gonna have to get our code or our identifier tokens so we're gonna type in fast boot OEM get underscore identifier underscore token okay we have our token what we want to do is you see right here the fourth uh, slash left right click on it mark it and then we're gonna do is drag from there all the way down and then hit enter on your keyboard and to uh, make sure you it copies and now you can paste that here's your identifier token but I did do mess up so I'm gonna show you what you guys have to do is when you mark it and you drag it all the way down to the where it says identifier token end there should be four or five of these I think it's five hit enter now if you want to open up your notepad and paste it boom you have your identifier token so now the next step is where I told you to sign up on the website HTC Dev, you want to log in. I think this is my password. I'm not sure at the moment. Yes, I am. All right, you want to select your device. You'll notice that the HTC Evo V is not on here, so we're going to go all the way down to other supported media. Begin unlocking bootloader. Yes. And then just I acknowledge, I acknowledge. And I, yeah, I should say that at the beginning of the video, it will be in the description, and I will tell you guys right now that. I'm not responsible if you break your phone, break it, or in any way destroy your phone, or loss of hair. Uh, we're just going to proceed to next step 5 because what I'm showing you right now is what we're doing, but this is in a bit of a different way. See, we're just doing the alright. This is where you're going to paste your identifier token into this little box and hit submit. Okay, and now you'll go to your email. And look, we have our identifier unlock token. You just download that, and then what you guys are wanna gonna wanna do is move it from your downloads into the SDK. As you see, I already have my unlock token right here. I will not be unlocking my phone in this case because it is already unlocked. So what you guys are gonna do to unlock it though is type in fast boot flash unlock. Let me just make sure I'm typing this in right. Unlock token space capital U and lock underscore code dot bin. Once you enter, it'll unlock it, and then your phone might reboot, but I will not be doing this in this case. But when it does reboot, it'll go to a thing that has a little unlock thing on the top. And then you have to use your uh, volume control buttons on the side, up, down, and then you have to use the power. You just uh, click up for yes, and then click the top button and then it'll go boom, and then your phone will restart, and it'll be unlocked. Now, we have to go back into the reboot loader. So after that's all done, come back to the tutorial, and then what we're going to have to redo is type in reboot, or ADB, sorry, ADB, reboot, boot, loader, hit enter, and then you'll come back to this beautiful screen that I'm on on my phone, and then from there, we're going to have to type in fast boot flash re recovery I spelled that recovery recovery dot img this is the file that we originally got and this is going to be flashing twrp 1.1.1 so i'll flash it and it'll send recovery okay writing recovery blah 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 okay now since that's written we're going to do fast boot boot recovery dot img and now if you watch your beautiful phone, it'll vibrate and it'll go into a new style, or it'll go into your recovery menu. And yes, I've already done this on my phone, so... Okay, we have hit the recovery menu. Okay, This is what your phone should be looking like right now. 
this is where we're going to want to make a backup. So just give me a second to get this to be sh as sharp as I can to show you guys. You're going to be using your volume control keys and your... Uh, wow, I am shaky today. You're going to be using your volume control keys and your... To enter into anything, you're going to use your power button. Okay, so we're going to first want to go to Nano Menu. Down, Enter, Backup Partition. Make sure you have System, Data, Boot, and then I'm going to put my, I think it's the Winmax on there. And that's it. You want to click the power button to do that. And now we're going to want to go Backups Now, so it's all the way at the top. And then your phone should do something like this. It's going to back up everything. Mine will take a few minutes because it's just going to take a few minutes. So I'm going to be back when this is done. Alright guys, we are back and this thing took forever. Wow, it took like 245 seconds. It seems like a lifetime. But alright, anyways, since this is done now, we can let me try to grab this without shaking. Alright, here we go. Dun -dun 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 -dun. We can go back to main menu. Down, down. I'm sorry if this is too bright. I really can't fix that on my crappy camera. Back to main menu. And now what we're going to want to do is click install zip. And then make sure you see it. You go down. It says reboot after successful flash. Make sure that has an X next to it. Now you want to choose choose zip to flash. Now go down and find it on your USB stick like we moved. We moved it to a ROMs folder. So go to your ROMs, wherever mine is. And it is, I think it's all the way at the bottom. So you want to keep clicking all the way until you get to the bottom. I'm actually not going to flash it, but I'm going to show you what happens. Okay, now choose your ROM. You have the ODEX. Make sure you click the ODEX. And now, just click flash zip now. No way, actually. Scratch that. Dun -dun -dun. So now since we have our thing ready to flash, we have to wipe cache end. Dalvik cache. Make sure you click that. And if you guys want to make sure you did it right, and go back to the main menu. Blah, blah, blah. Go to your wipe menu. And now click wipe cache and wipe Dalvik cache. And if you're the first time doing this, make sure you do everything. Wipe everything, yeah. Now go to install zip. Choose the flash. Go to your ROMs folder that we made earlier. Which should be all the way near the bottom. Okay, click that. Now choose JMZ stock and make sure reboot after successful flash is on. And then basically click clear uh, flash zip now. I'm not going to be doing this because I already did it. And basically what's going to happen is this is going to go into a menu and then it should take a few seconds. Your, computer, your phone should wipe itself. And then after it's wiped itself, it will boot and... It's going to take uh, about five minutes to boot because it's your first time doing it and whatnot. Every time you reboot a new, a new one, it's going to take about five minutes. And it's going to look stock, but it's going to have super user mm -hmm. available. So it's going to look stock and whatnot, so don't freak out about that. Um, it should reboot and whatnot. And then if you want to put a custom ROM on there, let's go back to the computer. Okay, if you want to put a custom ROM on here, you can get many types of ROMs, but the thing that you have to do next is either install four ext which i really highly suggest um i will be showing you how to do it in hboot rather than 4xt and now to get the s off just click there and if you want to see a tutorial because it is for some people a very scary task if you look at it and then go to mm -hmm. limited io wah, 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 wah. find the 3d phone htc 3d uh, we're in GM, uh, we are CDMA, and then Virgin Mobile HBoot. You can click download that and whatnot. And then there's a tutorial on how to do this when to the exploits. Find it right here. We are Windows, Virgin Mobile, and this is what we're going to have to do. And since all this is done, it's a little bit scary because you're doing the wire trick. Here's what I was looking for. Put a wire there, we're going to short it out basically. And if you don't want to do that, I can show you a really simple, easy way to do this without a wire, and it's really good to use a paperclip on. So if you guys want to see that, please post the comments in the comment section below. And then you can find all types of wonderful ROMs on 
Android forums, and many other places for the Evo V4G. There's not many out there, but you can flash kernels and whatnot. Uh, you would go to, I think it was, Guide One Stop V Evo Guide, and this is where I found most of the ROMs. Here's a couple. Incomplete, but I'm rocking the... Uh, should it actually be right here. Here it is. I am rocking... Okay, I guess I can't find it. I guess it doesn't like me. The Mobster. Here we go. The light. This one. Right here. I'm rocking Mobster ROM V3 Lite. Uh, I love this ROM. It is amazing. But you have to have your S off. Remember that. And then if you get your S off and you don't feel like watching another tutorial on how to get it off and how to flash, just follow the instructions here. It's basically move the file and just follow it here from HBoot. And next thing is, you don't. do you always want to keep hard coding like uh, in CMD? No. What you can do is once you turn off your phone, um, just power off. I forgot to tell you guys this because it's really cool. You can freak people out. Really cool thing. All right, and you can close down all the programs running in the background. Okay, what you want to do is hold your volume rocker down, and then power button. Just give it a few seconds. Okay, I'm gonna unplug it because that's bothering me. Okay, hold that down and it should boot right into H boot. Yay! And up here, now it'll say it's unlocked and you're great to go. Um, and you can always go back into your recovery and flash any type of ROM. So if you guys want to see the tutorial for the S off, I know I've been repeating myself about it. Please post a comment se comment in the comment section below. And if you this has helped you, and it's not a really bad video, please pop a right like rating on it and. If you haven't already, subscribe. Well, guys, thanks for watching. My name has been Red Sport HD, and I'm glad if I helped anyone out. So, yeah, guys.